Welcome collectors and hobby enthusiasts, thank you for joining me for this episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video we're going to be reviewing the Diecast Masters 150th scale Caterpillar CT660 Daycap Tractor with McNeilis Bridgemaster Concrete Mixer. The item number is 85664. Now this model was originally slated to be released in 2020, however it was pushed back to 2021. Doesn't matter, we now have it and I am thrilled to be able to review it for you. The model is currently available from your favorite authorized Diecast Masters distributor. Now we have seen the CAT CT660 basic casting out for the better part of a decade now, as Norscott first released it as both a dump truck and as a tractor to haul low boys and also mural trailers around. So it's nice to see it being offered as a concrete mixer option today. Also interesting to point out, it's the first time it's been offered in this metallic blue finish. So it'll be pretty interesting to see just how good it looks. Now it comes in this brown outer shipping box as most of these transport series or core classics models come in. And that simply is to protect the actual model box. So let's open this up at one end and we'll dive straight into the model's packaging and its review. Here it is. Once again, the CAT CT660 Daycap Tractor with McNeilis Bridgemaster Mixer, collectible die-cast model scale replica, 85664, 1-50 to scale. Warning, this is intended as an adult collectible, ages 14 and up minimum. Top, you have CAT and McNeilis, and the item number once again. On the back, there's a picture of the real truck, which I believe appeared on a the uh, CAT calendar that is released every year by MBI Publishing. There's some pictures of the model showing some of its features and again we'll go into great detail on that in just a little bit here's some information on the real cat ct660 tractor as well as information on the mcneilis bridgemaster mixer so for example it has an m80 series drum an 11 yard drum capacity 150 gallon water tank with a standard height hopper all right let's get this unboxed and take a closer look at it now for the most part this model comes ready to display. There's not much assembly that's required on this truck. So, for example, the exhaust stack tips come already fully assembled and on the truck. Really, the only thing that you have to do, and it's completely optional, is it comes with a set that you can see actually right here. It comes with three chute extensions that you can put on the concrete chute if you want to. And I'll show you how to do that as we go farther into the video. So, here's our truck. Let me take a quick break. We're going to clean off all this packaging. When we come back, we're going to dive straight into the model review. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this short break. All right, everyone. Thanks for sticking with me. Let's start off with some of the decal application that's on this truck because it's pretty impressive. So, we have DOT striping along the fender well along with McNeilis right here, which you can see, which looks very, very good. On the back, you also have some striping, some striping along the protection bumper guard here, as well as on the chutes itself, even some more warning labels right here. Warning labels here, lights on the drop axle here, which I'll go into more detail when I show you the drop axle. You have cat on the rubberized mud flaps, which you can see here. There's also some turn indicators on the mirror. And again, cat right in the middle of the grill there, which looks very good. As for the functionality, let's start out at the front end of the truck, the actual CT660 part. The doors do not open on this particular truck, but the hood does open. And in doing so, it reveals a, what else? A cat motor inside. You can see it right there. Additionally, the front axle does steer. It is notched rather than variable, so you can achieve some degree of steering, although perhaps because of the way the fender design is, the wheels tend to clash, so you don't get the most aggressive angle. But as I always like to say, something is better than nothing. So that's the basic functionality of the CT660 with the hood opening and the steerable front axle. Back here you have a drop axle, which if you pull down on it right here, like such, and you have to be a little forceful with it. You can get this axle to lower and be grounded. Back here, as you can see, you have a folding down access stair to access the top of the mixing drum, 
which is always nice because you can pose a 1 to 50 or 148 scale O gauge figure, perhaps maybe cleaning out, spraying some water into the concrete drum. Just a couple different posing opportunities that's available with the fold down access stair. Turning to this axle right here, what you have to make sure of is make sure that the concrete chute is centered. It can't be off to one side, obviously, when you do this or you're going to break something. So make sure it's centered, and then you can lower this axle right here to make sure that that's grounded. And now you can have the truck with that axle grounded for a full load of concrete. All right. Obviously, the concrete drum itself does move. And it rotates on a pretty smooth mechanism, so there's it doesn't get stuck at any particular location. When you're not using the three provided concrete chute extensions, they can be stored right here. You can see the three different holes. They just hook over. It is a very loose fit, but again, if your model is stationary, they should hold there without falling off. Okay, last thing I want to show you is the optional chute extensions that you can put on the truck. If we look right here, you can see that they have two, what I like to call positive ends. And again, I'll focus the camera in so you guys can see that a little bit better. You can see that the notches are at both ends. So you take the opposite end of the chute extensions that have holes with openings in them. And it's simply a matter of hooking it over and pushing it in like so. So there you go. That's one extension on. And I'm only for time's sake going to put two on. Again, you want to do this with a little bit of care, obviously, because it is a plastic mechanism. You don't want a chance breaking anything. But again, in total, you get three chute extensions that you can use to put on your actual mixer. It will rotate to the left or the right, back and forth, or you can move it to the center. And there's also a fair degree of movement via this cylinder that you can lift it up very slightly. But again, I strongly caution you to be very, very careful there because you don't want to potentially break that plastic cylinder that exists. So there you go, collectors. That's an in-depth detail and review of the brand new Diecast Masters Caterpillar CT660 with the McNeilis Bridgemaster Concrete Mixer in 150th scale. I think it's a wonderful addition to the, con to the Caterpillar Collection 150th scale. It's great to see a licensed concrete body on a CT660, again, that's something new that we haven't seen in 150 scale before. Previously, obviously, you had to have a custom of this done. So having it directly available from a company like Diecast Masters is a welcome relief and a welcome addition. Again, I think the price point is affordable. Give or take a dollar here and there, roughly, it's about $80 US MSRP, which again, for most collectors, is pretty affordable. But I want to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this truck. Is it something that you want on your wish list? Do you already have it in your collection? Is it something you want to see more of made in the future? As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll see you in the next review.